Janet with Radiant Realty. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to visit Hank's Hatchets. It's an axe throwing venue in both Kalispell and Whitefish. I've been wanting to visit this place for quite some time. It is kind of a blizzard out there tonight, so I thought what better night to meet up with some friends and go throw some axes. However, before we get started, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while. And if you are looking to buy or sell property or a home in Montana, definitely reach out. I would love to help you. This channel is just all about Montana living, Montana home tours, city tours, that sort of thing. So pull up a chair and let's go throw some axes. Okay, so we ended up going to the Hanks Hatchets location in downtown Kalispell because we wanted to stop by Blue Samurai first and get our sushi fix. It's been a while since we had some. Blue Samurai is our favorite within Flathead County. Some people argue Sakatumi is their favorite and it's great as well, just a very different type of sushi. They kind of do more interesting flavors with mango or different flavors that are unusual. And we like the more traditional sushi. So depending on what your jam is. Both of those are probably great choices. But anyways, we got our sushi and now we are here at Hank's Hatchets. Heading inside, wasn't sure what to expect. So when you get inside, you're gonna go up and pay. Currently it's $20 per person per hour. You can reserve a lane ahead of time. We did not. We didn't figure it would be very busy on a Thursday night in um, this kind of weather. And then you're gonna need to sign a waiver and you do need to wear closed toed shoes. Not a problem in the dead of winter in Montana. <laughs> but if you're coming in summertime, that might be important to know. And then after you sign the waiver, then one of the employees is just going to take you back to your lane, kind of show you the tools that you have to work with. You're gonna have a short ax, a longer ax, and then one of the star, what are those called? Well, those star things. <laughs> Clearly, I am not a weaponry master here. Um, what are they called? Oh, Chinese star. Is that what they are? Chinese star. I think that's it. Comment below. Okay, so we're moving on. <laughs> and then they're just going to tell you kind of how to hold the different things. The shorter axe you just hold with one hand. The longer axe you're going to hold with two hands. And then the Chinese star you have to just hold carefully so that you don't cut yourself actually all of the items. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit intimidating when they start explaining how to do this. I wasn't concerned before we went in, but after listening to his instructions, I was a little bit more so. Josh and Aaron went with us. They picked this up right away. Unfortunately, I was having camera issues, which you can probably see the difference in camera because I had to switch to my iPhone, but they were doing amazing right off the bat. And I don't think they've been before, but they did move here from Alaska. So I feel like they had a leg up somehow. But once we started a competition after a bit of, you know, 10 to 15 minutes of practicing, then Chad was amazing. He's super competitive. So he pulled right ahead. Suddenly he was able to do what he couldn't do before because as you can see from this footage, our ax just kept bouncing back. <laughs> it was not rotating at the right point in the right time. And it just kept bouncing back at us, which is also a little bit concerning. So they do tell you to make sure when you are throwing in the lanes that you both throw at the same time and retrieve at the same time. And as you can see from this footage, it's very important to pay attention to that. In the end, my absolute favorite, well, I loved the Chinese star. To me, that was the easiest, but it felt a little bit like cheating when we were in a competition to use that um, over and over again. And then we did discover with the longer ax, which I hated at first, using the two hands that actually turned out to be the best and just felt more accurate to me than throwing one-handed. And as you can see from the footage, I was pretty darn excited when I got even close to that bullseye. So we will call that a win on my part. A few other things to know, I think you have to be eight years or older to participate here with an adult. And then they also have some other fun games, arcade type games, ping pong, pool table. So definitely a great hangout joint. Um, even if you're not into the ax throwing part, there are other options and ways to spend your time there. So definitely give that a try. If you've been before, comment below. Let me know your thoughts were. If you haven't been, comment. Let me know if this is something that you would definitely try out or no way, no how. Oh, they also have merchandise. Chad got a Hank's Hatchet hat, which he loves. <laughs> definitely support local. And that's it for this week. I hope you have an amazing week. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos drop. And I'll see you next time.